Hi, back in 2017, the company called Equifax was the victim of one of the largest data breaches in history. Nearly 150 million Americans had their data exposed to hackers. That means your social security number, your birth date, your name, perhaps your address, and your credit reports were all leaked by a massive hack. In more recent headlines, we can see that Equifax has reportedly spent $700 million in fines over the breach. You're actually eligible, perhaps if you've uh, been a victim, to file a claim and you can get your $125 damage. The point of this video is I'd like to show you some of the details of how they were hacked and what applications were involved and how difficult it would have been had they applied the uh, patches that were necessary. So what you see on the screen here is a diagram of basically the uh, Equifax data systems that were involved. Uh, they, on the exterior, they had a firewall and they had a SSL certificate. The hackers that uh, from China apparently came in through the firewall using standard ports. They came to the web server and the vulnerability in the system was in this uh, area called the Apache Struts. It's an application server. So you can see from the Apache website that Apache Struts is a free program. It's, run, it's meant to run Java applications on uh, websites, which is a pretty standard process. However, you can see that Apache Struts regularly is uh, alerting their customers to vulnerabilities. And you can see on this page here about the vulnerability report as of today. So there was something in 2018. You can see the score is rated as a 9.3. So if you're running Apache struts on any of your systems, you have a vulnerability that you should probably update. The vulnerability that was exploited back in 2017 is this one here called 2017 5638. And you can see they rated it as a 10. So we're gonna see how this works and why it's so severe. What should have Equifax had done had they known about this or acted on this vulnerability. You can see here from the vulnerability report that March the 10th is when they were first uh, alerting their customers to this issue. So while the update for the Apache Struts server was available, the attackers were uh, harvesting data from the database systems at Equifax. And it wasn't until several months later that the public became aware of what was going on. So apparently the hackers, after coming in through the firewall and finding the Apache Struts server that was not updated, they were able to run an exploit that allowed them to browse around inside of the network. Inside the network, they found a text file that included account names for other administrator or root passwords to other systems. The real jewels of the Equifax program are the databases. And so all of the credit histories and credit reports on 150 million Americans were stored in these databases. So a database server is the back end of any application. And apparently they had 43 of them. And in these systems, they began to export data. So the data was pretty big. You don't just send back gigabytes of data. What they did is they, uh, they, they downloaded or exported this data into text files and then in 10 megabyte increments they would send these items back to China through the firewall. Now the Equifax employees apparently were updating their SSL server and noticed the traffic that was leaving their network and so this is when they reported that they had a breach and then we realized that uh, many of the uh, records had already been exported and were gone by that time. So I have on the screen here an example of a web server that is vulnerable. You can see that uh, this website, whoever they are, has a, a detection report. It says the uh, struts problem report and inside of here is a keyword that says development mode is enabled. And so this server here is apparently uh, vulnerable. So how did I find this page? Well, I'm looking for a Google dork, they call it. And I searched here for the title that says, we must see any page on the websites that have the words Struts Problem Report. And somewhere on the text of the page, I want to see the words also, development mode is enabled. And so I was able to find this page here simply by using Google. 
So this, this page here is like a, a red flag sent up to say, um, hey, we have a problem on our Apache Strut server. Uh, we have uh, enabled the development mode on our computer and free, feel free to come in and hack us. That's really what is being, being said here. Here's another page that would be an important uh, utility. This shows you that you really don't even have to know how to do much programming to be able to hack into a system. This GitHub page shows some Python scripts that are um, exactly for what a hacker would need to use. So it's a it's a exploitation tool. And let's let's see how easily this is applied. So I've got this uh, Python script here, and I'm going to run the uh, Python script against a website. So I'm not going to actually reveal the website name, so I'll blur that out. But all I have to do is run this uh, script against the URL, and you can see that it automatically goes to check to see what's vulnerable. And it says here that your Struts server is vulnerable. And now it says, um, would you like to run another command on this server? So the shell allows me to run different commands, such as lists. We can find out what folders and files are on there. The present working directory, PWD, tells me which folder I'm in. Let's say if I can go and find the passwords of the system here. So I just do a cat. And this will show me every username, and it doesn't show me the password yet, but I'm pretty close to it. I can get all of the usernames that are on the system. So as you can see, it's really quite shockingly simple to run a script, and then on a vulnerable system, you can see the directories, you can download files, you can run commands from their prompt. So what's the solution? What should you do? Well, you go back to the Apache website and you can see that there is downloads here for the most current versions of the application server. So there's updates, you can get the full suite. So as a website administrator, part of the job is to scan the reports for those vulnerabilities and apply patches in a timely manner. So that's really what happened with, um, with Equifax. They uh, could have prevented this issue but I'm sure they're busy people and they have other things to do than update their Apache server. However, after spending $700 million in fees, I wonder if their attention is a little bit more. Currently, Equifax is asking you if you want to visit the, uh, the breach settlement site and you can get your $125, or if you're concerned about the most recent uh, breach here. So eh, they're not alone. Capital One recently had a problem, and uh, place a freeze on your credit report is probably a good idea. I personally have uh, put a freeze on my credit report soon after the uh, Equifax breach, and I would recommend the same thing for you. It's certainly not difficult to do, and it will prevent other people from uh, opening new mortgages or car loans using your name and your credit score. So uh, Equifax certainly dropped the ball and they won't be the last company to do it. And if you are working in any kind of IT systems, make sure that you uh, regularly update your servers and know what your vulnerable points are. So thanks for watching.